The Sabbath is a highly misunderstood and controverted topic in Christianity. Some Christians say that we should keep the Sabbath, which is on Saturday, quoting the fourth commandment in Exodus chapter 20, verses 8 through 10, which says, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall do no work. Other professed Christians reject the fourth commandment in place of a list of reasons why we don't need to keep the Sabbath. Or the belief that Sunday is the new Christian day of worship in the New Testament. One verse they tried to use to explain away the fourth commandment is 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 2 which talks about storing aside provisions on the first day of the week. But is that what that verse really means? That's what I'm going to be talking about in this video as I share a clip with you from a previous video of mine entitled 10 Misunderstood Bible Verses About the Sabbath. But before I do that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you get notified about my future Christian uploads, which will inspire your faith in the Word of God and make Scripture clear and easy to understand. Now for the clip. Number 2. The Corinthians Worshipped on Sunday 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 2 is often cited in support of Sunday observance. But as we analyze it closely, we will see that's not the case. It says, On the first day of the week, let each one of you lay something aside, storing up as he may prosper, that there may be no collections when I come. First of all, this is not talking about a worship service. The Apostle Paul here is requesting that individual Christians from the church of Corinth lay aside some provisions at home. The Apostle Paul intended to pick those donations up on the way while traveling to Jerusalem to relieve the church there. More about this is mentioned in Romans chapter 15 verses 25 through 26, which reads, But now I am going to Jerusalem to minister to the saints. For it pleased those from Macedonia and Achaia to make a certain contribution for the poor among the saints who are in Jerusalem. If anything, 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 2 is a strong case against keeping the Sabbath on Sunday because Paul intended to travel a long distance on that day. And the Sabbath is a day of rest. So that's not something he would have been doing if, in fact, he was observing the Sabbath on Sunday. Check out my Sabbath Keeper t-shirt by clicking on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen or the link in the video description. This shirt comes in a variety of styles, sizes, and colors. It can be a good conversation starter to help you share your faith and proceeds from your purchase help keep my channel going to reach more people with the gospel. 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 2 does not tell us that the first day of the week or Sunday became a new day of worship for Christians in the New Testament. It tells us that the Apostle Paul was asking believers to lay some provisions aside so that he could pick them up while traveling to Jerusalem. Therefore, Paul didn't treat this day holy. He treated it like a common working day. There are many Bible verses that people misinterpret about the Sabbath because instead of conforming their lives to the Word of God, they want the Word of God to conform to their lives. If you'd like to learn more about some of these verses and what they really mean, click on the screen to watch my video entitled 10 Misunderstood Bible Verses About the Sabbath. If this video inspired you, please like it and share it to help spread God's Word. Thank you for watching and God bless you.